Okay, people, they do have ro uh, robot chicken. They do have um, chicken police pointed red on Steam. Because I just downloaded it, but the actual game costs like $12.99. I might get the full game, so yeah. I'm just letting y'all know and showing y'all that, showing y'all that I do have it. Sorry about my shadow in the background. Previously <laughs> on Chicken Police. She stood in the darkness. The light painted stripes on her body. She was the first womanly thing in my place for a long time. Believe me, Mr. Featherland, it's not an accident I came to you. Look, miss, I work for the police, and I'm currently on leave. I couldn't accept private commissions even if I wanted to. My mistress's partner is Hobart Wessler, or as most people know him... Ibn Wessler, the kingpin. Exactly. Feathery gods, help me. Before I visit the club, I have to take a deep uh. tour. I've got a feeling that this case isn't going to be a one-man job. And there's only one bird in this city I can trust. My ex-partner, Marty. He's going to be at the station. I can only hope he'll be willing to talk to me. I knew where to find Marty. At the station, we'd always draw straws about holiday duty. Marty never joined in. He always took the New Year's Eve shift, even though he had someone to go home to. I understood. Ten years ago, we survived a night the press called the Bloody New Year. Forgotten by Clawville, but not by us. We both left parts of ourselves behind that night. Well, look at that. Hey, Sonny, what you scratching out over here? I heard the big boss threw you out. Tough luck, boys. I may not be on duty, but I'm still a cop, just like you. Well, more than you. Hey, you don't have to be so petty, sure, but. By the way, you're on luck. Blood boils not in tonight. The lawyer's in charge. Oh, God. That clumsy buffalo is here tonight. If he doesn't end up in a cell again, he's lucky. <laughs> you got it. You looking for Marty, eh? I see you're still the brains around here, Phyllis. Yeah, I'm looking for Marty. Birds of a feather flock together. I see you're still the funny guy around here. You'll find the giant feather duster at the shooting range, as always. Hey, boys, I'm telling you this because maybe you'll be able to understand. If this prickly shithead makes another racist remark, I'll strangle him with his own raincoat. <laughs> I'd love to see that. Hey, who saw you on, you jerk? Here we are again, Clawville Police Department. I've never been good at history, but if I'm not mistaken, this place has been a church, a hospital, and even some insane cult secret hideout over the years. Anyway, the place holds the secrets of the ages, and some drunk pigs in the basement. Hey, Boss Bird. What are you doing here? Shouldn't you be celebrating somewhere? Every day is a holiday since I got out of here. I can tell. But what are you doing here? Are you here for a file? You know, I'm a little busy right now. Yeah, you could look after a few things for me, but 
First, I'd like to talk to Mr. Big Beak McChicken himself. Those two prickly assholes told me he's emptying the magazines in the hole. Like always. And if he carries on like that, he's gonna use up all our ammo. So it would be nice if you drag him out of there. You know how this day is for him. <laughs> for him? You know I didn't mean it like that. Yeah, I know. Okay, so just sign here and you're good to go. Thank you, darling. Don't mention it, boss bird. Mort, you scabious beast. What the hell did you do? <laughs> Morty to you, sonny boy. Everything's fine. There was just a bit of trouble in the bar, and uh, someone got knocked on the head with a glass. It wasn't my fault. I'm as blind as a bat, am I right? <laughs> Did that ever bother you, Morty? Listen, sonny boy. Go tell them to leave me alone, eh? It's New Year's Eve, after all, and I didn't even do anything wrong. Not that wrong. Where's your little lapdog to get you out of this mess? Is that little pimp of a midget still sniffing around you? Uh, Jeffy is a good boy, Sonny. And he's good to me, believe me. Oh, God, spare me the details. When will you finally realize that little shit's been using you? Oh, of course he's using me. <laughs> what could a pretty boy like him want from this old monster? Still, Sonny, I have no one else. Do you understand that? Don't you? Even you deserve better, pal. By the way, you look horrible, even for yourself. Are you feeling okay? Well, I'm not what I used to be. But neither are you, judging from your voice. But I'm seeing a doctor, sonny boy. I really am. Are you? Don't need to, Mort. I'm fine. Anyway, if Bubo prescribed you something, don't even think about taking it. I don't talk to that insane owl. <laughs> Damn right. Please, say something on my behalf, okay? I really don't have time for this detective buffalo shit. Hey, careful with that. Buffalo Malloy is the chief today. <laughs> like I care. I'll try to speak for you, but keep it down till then, okay? You don't need this shit, and I don't need it either. Sonny boy, you've always been a good friend. <laughs> More like a clucking pigeon. Look what the cat dragged in. Yes, <laughs> now there. Hello to you too, Bosco. I see you're busy as always. Eh, I've been sniffing around one of the rundown joints. You know how it goes. And boom, this son of a lizard comes flying out the window. I didn't know the lizards could fly. <laughs> so, Mort was being a bad, bad boy again. Nothing unusual. And you, still dying. I'm still a cop for another 121 days, Bosco. It's as unpleasant to me as it is to you. All right, all right. No need to bite. I wasn't trying to mess with you. You have Moses and Plato for that. And of course, blood boil. Let's hope I won't run into any of them tonight. Looking for Marty, eh? Ever since you left, he's kind of lost. He's trying to hide it, or he's not the same bird. Well, I don't think we'll have a teary reunion, thinking about how we parted. Let me give you some advice, Sonny. Let him rage. He'll be the same after that. Anyway, he was the one that shot you, right? You should be mad, not him. It's not that simple, Bosco. But we'll see how he reacts. Thanks anyway. No worries, pal. Officer Jardine. They say she's clever, smart, and dangerous. We need more of her kind in here. 
one of Blood Boyle's favorites. Mainly because he's a dog, of course. This is going to be a hard ride. Last time we saw each other, he had a smoking gun in his hand, and I was bleeding. I don't know how we can get past that, but it's worth a try. Hey, Marty. Oh, well, look who's here. Hello, boss bird. What, are you lost? This is the PD building, you know? Cut the shit, Marty. We're better than this. Well, at least you are. Better than anyone, huh? Marty, come on, let's forget that. What's past is past. Yeah, easy for you to say, Sonny. Damn it, Marty, you shot me, remember? I almost bled to death. Hell yeah, I remember. Unfortunately, my aim wasn't good enough. I need your help, okay? That's what you want to hear. Well... It's a start. Okay, I've said it. I won't do it again. <sighs> yeah, right. So, are you in? Just for tonight. Small case. We'll wrap it up in no time. Uh, what kind of case? A personal one. How personal? Very. The kind of case where if you come with me right now, you're not on duty anymore. Ooh, damn, Sonny. Stop it right there. I'm in. That's... That's it? Uh, do you know how boring life is here without your stupid, reckless shit? Soon enough, I'll shoot all the ammo in here out of boredom. Right, so, tell me, what's it about? I'll tell you in the car. Ooh, can I bring Bertha? Ah, oh, for the love of... Marty, this is a routine case. You can't bring your shotgun, okay? Bertha stays. Okay, okay. But at least Susie can come, right? Uh, all right, Susie can come. That's what I want to hear. I was just about to go when you came in, so if you want shooting practice, maybe turn on the lights first. You're right, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> this is hard. Crap is hard. Yeah, that was hard. Okay. But anyways. Still drink coffee? Yeah. My only poison. Except for guns, of course. And women. We could visit our old haunt. What do you think? Oh, a nice cup of Zip's coffee in the hop dog. I'm in. Oh, and maybe we'll get into a little fight, too, huh? If it comes to that, I'm leaving you without a blink. Well, yeah, like last time? Those were, uh, different times, Marty. With a different Sonny. Uh, well, all right. To the city, then. You don't have to come with me, you know. Okay, okay, I know. Let's go. Sonny, there's a little problem. Not so little, and it smells, too. What the furry hell is Blood Boyle doing here? Ah, uh, well, it seems we can't avoid speaking to him. Oh, yes, we can. You have your rifle with you, right? What? <laughs> Just kidding. Sort of.
What a surprise. The two pigeons back together. And without my permission, of course. Hound dog. Chief Bloodboil. <clears throat> what was that, Santino? Nothing, sir. What a lovely evening. Am I right? I don't want to hear your crowing, Santino. What the hell are you doing here? Hey, hey, hey. Careful with the racist barking, old hound. Oh, oh, it's getting hot in here. Can we just skip this part? It's New Year's after all. And you're on duty, if I'm not mistaken, Martin. Where do you think you're going? That's it, boss. To serve and protect. Sonny was in the neighborhood and stopped by to say hi. He's a cop too, right? Only on paper, and you know that very well, detective. I don't want any trouble, boss. I just wanted to say hi to Monica, and then this feather pillow showed up. I invited him to grab a quick coffee. You can allow him that much, can't you? Your coffee breaks usually end up in shooting or brawling tickets. <laughs> oh, just a coffee, boss. I swear. Oh, have a heart. It's New Year's Eve, and I haven't seen my old partner for so long. How touching. You shot him with a shotgun, if I remember. <laughs> Family quarrel. For all the marrow bones of the world, get the hell out of my sight. Have a lovely evening, boss. You especially. Fuck off right now, Santino. Golly, this so harsh. So how do you leave this? Uh oh, I have to say, how do you leave? <laughs> Two simpletons. <laughs> they don't even realize their jackets are full of holes. For the wild god's sake, don't dare tell them. I already tried, but nothing happened. Figures. Hello, gents. Everything all right? Uh, everything's just fine, Sonny. Well, look. The Chick Police are together again. What a time to be alive. Am I right, Royce? <laughs> You're late, Foss. Hey, that reminds me. Look at what I found under my coat. <laughs> it's Her Majesty Big Bertha in the flesh. Whoa, 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 don't shoot. We were just joking, okay? When I'm on any trouble. <laughs> yeah, I was just joking, too. <laughs> I'll never get bored with these two. They're so cute. I wonder why they thought you would shoot at another cop. Hey, it's just happened once, okay? Am I right, boys? You, you, you're right, Marty. Uh, we all know it was an accident. See? How many days did we have our first squad car? About three, I think, before we crashed into that tank of acid. We? <laughs> you crashed it. Don't blame it on me, Marty. I was unconscious, if I remember correctly. And that's your problem, boss. You should be more careful with low-hanging concrete blocks next time. Yeah, I've been paying attention to that ever since. Do you remember? The car was melted and blown to pieces. Blood Boil was furious. Ah, good times. Time sure makes memories golden, huh? Luckily back then, he didn't have the power to fire us. Here we go now. Back in the day, I used to patrol the city streets in one of these. I don't miss it, but it used to have its advantages. Sometimes, I miss the old times, when everything was so simple. Sometimes, I miss the old times, when everything was so simple. Can talk to him again? What is it, chickens? Look, Marty, the pincushion can talk. Amazing. Fuck off. <laughs> well, I don't know where to go from here, but I'll figure it out. But I might get the full game. 
I can say this is just a demo. But I will see you guys in a bit. Like, share, and subscribe, and comment. And this is your boy, HRB out.